Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help from beautiful Waikiki Beach here in Honolulu, Hawaii. Just got my EA Sun uh, cardioid uh, shotgun mic for my Canon HG10. Ordered this off of eBay, it cost around $30 or so. Now this is kind of a uh, cheaper knockoff brand uh, made in China, but it's rated, it's supposed to be a really good, really good shotgun microphone. And uh, they also back it up, the company I purchased from backed it up with a warranty. And um, as you see, EA Sun, my warranty card is in Chinese, <laughs> kind of funny, and uh, my instruction set is also in Chinese, but thankfully uh, we won't really be, you know, using that, hopefully. So, all right, so I've already unboxed everything. Um, here's the actual microphone. This is a 14.37 inch microphone, and on the end here, the end of it slides off and you place a battery in. Make sure that you put your battery in the correct direction or your microphone will go boom and explode everywhere. No, no. it'll probably just kill it though. Um, okay, so you have two different settings on the end of the microphone. You're off, you have normal, and then you have tele. I'm going to show you a little test uh, demo that I did here in just a moment of the actual sound quality. Now this comes with a um, actually, it's very nice. This is a balanced XLR. It's not a non-balanced. Other cables, I don't know if you can see inside of this or not, the connectors inside of there. There are two metal ones, and the third hole on the bottom has nothing. This is an unbalanced cable. Okay, so it does actually come with a balanced XLR cable, which is good. It's high quality. Um, comes with a super long 26 foot cable so um, when you're using balanced XLR connectors you need to if you're going to use like a 25 you know foot cable it has to have a balanced connector on the end I'm not sure if you can actually see inside of there but all three of those have metal pieces inside now this comes with a quarter inch mono um, jack which you plug in it comes with the adapter to go to a 3.5 millimeter mono jack now, on the front of my Canon HG10, which I'll show you here in just a moment, this is a big load to have hanging off um, at the end of your camera, especially if you want to leave this coiled up. If you can imagine all this weight hooked onto the end of this and snapping off the front of your camera, it's not going to be a very happy situation. So, um, just quickly to get to some of the other accessories, it comes with a windscreen, and inside the windsock there, you will find a standard microphone stand um, holder. So you would screw that onto a normal uh, microphone stand and you can have your mic set up for that. In addition to that, one of the primary reasons that I purchased this is because it comes with a hot shoe mount for the top of my camera. Okay, so let me set this aside real quick and bring in the nifty old Canon HG10. Now, on the top of the Canon HG10, um, you'll notice that there is a little port up here. Let me flip it to the side right here, which can be popped off if you slide the eyepiece back. And so we can mount our hot shoe mount up here, tighten it down just a little bit there. All right, and we pop on the shotgun mic right there. And if I can get all this massiveness in, in the screen there. Now there's another model. It's a 10 point something inch uh, shotgun mic on eBay also. And um, it's going to be a little bit short. It's probably going to be about down to here. Knock off about four inches roughly. Um, but it doesn't come with the uh, mounts for some reason. I wasn't very happy with that. I'd actually prefer to have a shorter mic if possible. But... On my camera, I can actually slide this one out significantly far and still not have it in range of my camera. So I think I can get it out to about, oh, out to about right there before it actually starts showing in the camera frame. Okay, so let's go ahead. And one thing is there is a little play up here. I tried to tighten this, but I can't really get it to do anything. So if you're looking at this from a forward angle, you notice that the microphone actually you can move left and right. And that might be a good thing, it might be a bad thing. I, I haven't really tested it out enough in the field yet to know one way or the other. So basically your XLR cable plugs into the back of here and then you kick it on, you have normal and tele mode, okay? Now on the front of the Canon HG10, this is what I was talking about before. I'm actually gonna unplug this here so I don't destroy anything. Um, right down here on the Canon HG10, actually, let me go ahead and remove my protective cover here. 
Okay, so on the bottom of the Canon HG10, you have your audio port right here for your microphone. Now the problem is, when you go to plug this in right here, it doesn't really want to fit. And if you can see, that's an awful big wad of cable coming out of the end. So I suggest going to Radio Shack and buying a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter elbow bend, right angle, 90 degree angle, however you want to do it, call it, and then pop it onto the end of that, and then it fits perfectly flush like that right into the front of the Canon HG10. All right. So I paid $4.50 for this at uh, Radio Shack, and um, so far I'm very happy with the quality of everything. Let me go ahead and play you a test video here of the actual audio quality, and I'm going to mute my mic here and play this video for you real quick. Okay, so here we are testing out the microphone. Currently it's um, set for my Canon HG10 stereo uh, built-in microphone and I've marked off a distance of 20 feet and I'm gonna walk back and let you hear the volume levels so five feet 10 feet so we're at about 20 feet now uh, do a microphone check on that I'm walking back in 10 feet five feet okay so now I'm gonna plug in the cardioid mic and uh, set it for normal setting one thing you will want to have is an elbow adapter because if you try to do this, especially with the one that came with it, it will not fit into the front of the uh, Canon HG10. So buy one of these Radio Shack for like $4.50, pretty cheap. So here we go. Okay, so now we have the cardioid mic set to normal and I'm gonna walk five, 10 feet. And we're back at about 20 feet right now, testing on normal volume level. See how it sounds as I walk back in here. Now I'm going to set the microphone to Tela. And you'll notice a big difference. There might be some hissing background noise. It does pick up some noise from the side areas as well, just a little bit. So we're looking at 5 feet, 10 feet, and we're back to... 20 feet right here. I have to see what kind of uh, volume level you get out of that as I walk back in here now. And so let's do a couple of other tests. Okay, for the second test, uh, we're currently using the built in uh, stereo microphone for the <coughs> Canon HG10 at a distance of about maybe three to five feet, we'll say. Now I'm going to plug in the cardioid mic. This is on its normal setting. Okay, so there we have it. Now it's uh, plugged in and set for its normal setting, and I'll talk just for a second here to give you a general idea of what the sound is like. Now we're going to go to Tela. Okay, now we're in Tela mode, and once again I'm sitting about three to five feet away, um, just to give you an idea um, of the sound quality. And uh, so far I'm pretty happy with it, so um, let's uh, conclude this test and get on with it. Okay, so there you have it. All right, so um, anyway, uh, so far I'm very happy with the microphone. After I did those tests, I did realize that I was using a battery that was about a half of its lifespan, plus it's kind of a cheap battery. Um, it doesn't actually come with the battery, so I just took one that I had laying around and popped it in there to use it. So um, I imagine that you would get a lot better um, quality and a better sound um, on the overall scale if you use something like a Duracell or an Energizer, something more of a top quality type of battery. Now once again, this is a pretty huge mic. There is a 10.8 um, something microphone that's about this much shorter, so you could get that for about that long. But it doesn't come with all the handy attachments uh, as far as the microphone stand and the hot shoe mount for your video camera that is being sold on eBay. So this is my review of the shotgun mic, the cheapo shotgun mic that's being sold on eBay for around $30. Um, a very good solid investment considering that a lot of the other microphone shotgun mics out there are going for $135, $150, even $200. This is a very good solid investment. So um, if you're in the market for something like this and uh, you've got the little bit of extra cash laying around, I highly suggest getting one. So anyway, there's my quick and simple review of the, the uh, cheapo Chinese shotgun mic being sold on eBay. If this uh, review is helpful, please post a comment. If not, Pogue Mahone, and as usual, peace. Thanks for watching.